This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up, everybody? Ricky Widmer here, along with fellow man child, Johnny Carlick. Georgie, would you like a balloon? I would not like a balloon. Plus, my name's not Georgie. Georgie Pennywise, Pennywise, Georgie. Are we all now gonna, we're not strangers. Are we all going to float too? We'll all float too? We'll all float too. But welcome into our, this is our movie review for the week. If you are new to how we do things, we are first reviewing the movie It that came out this past weekend in like the, the insane thing, Johnny, mm-hmm. the movie theater me and you went to. Oh my God. One theater showed Home Again, which my mom's like, oh, I want to see that movie. The rest of them were It. All, so almost- like- yeah, no, it's the you, same thing yesterday, too. If you wanted to see something that, like, came out last week, good luck, because <laughs> you weren't going to be able to <laughs> it with how many all, theaters. All but, like, all but like maybe four theaters mm-hmm. had it playing. Yeah, it, it was, was insane. It was the same thing yesterday, too, and we was I could it? not get seats. Really? Yeah. You no. went and saw it again? I was going to. Okay. And I could not, I was going to go see it with someone else, uh-huh. and we there was no seats mm-hmm. with the second person. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a cult classic. It is. Like, it, would, would you call it a cult classic? I don't know if it's a cult classic, but it's a classic It's in a general. classic. Everyone wants to go see it. We are giving our review of it. If you're new to how we do these things for the review, the first kind of 10 minutes or so, we stick around in non-spoiler mode. We won't spoil, but we'll talk about these things in the movie. And then we will dip into spoiler mode. And then at the end, we will give it a five, this one, a five balloon Balloons. rating. Um, we'll see how many balloons we give it out of five, and then we will give our show stopper or show sealer. I we call it something different every time. It's basically <laughs> the MVP of the movie, MVP giving out the MVP award each and every movie. But Johnny, I want to be honest with you, yeah. and I'm going to jump to the end a little bit without giving what I was exactly thinking. Mm-hmm. When we initially saw this movie, I was more down on it than I think I should have been. Yeah. Like, afterwards, I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking this rating because the beginning, and I'm like, but the end was really good. The things that made me, I have now changed my opinion completely, is because the thing I think coming into this that affected me Mm -hmm. for giving, like, a rating and kind of um, reviewing this is I had no background knowledge to the original. Yeah, no, I don't uh, either, honestly. If if you're unaware with how old I am and how old Johnny is, the original It TV miniseries came out when I was born. I was born in 90. So it came out when I was born, and by the time I was able to, like, form memories and things, I would see it in, like, the blockbuster, the VHS, Yeah, and I'd never want to touch it. No, yeah, I mean, I just wouldn't rent it, because mm-hmm. back in that time, before... Basically, what when we were finally able to go rent videos, yeah, kind of a thing dying out. I don't know. No. Well, no. By the time by by the two thousands, here's the thing. By in the in the nineties, yeah, we were able to like rent VHSs. Yeah. By two thousand ninety nine two thousand, they were getting replaced by DVDs, and then eventually, when we got to college, blockbusters and everything were. Going by the wayside because of Netflix. I think high school for me it was started dying out a mm-hmm. little bit. At least the one yeah. by me. I had a Hollywood video by us, mm-hmm. and that started dying out because once the DVD started sitting, and I don't know yeah. what happened. People just kind of stopped going. The selection was a lot mm-hmm. less, and I didn't really watch a lot of them in high school. At least not by myself. Yeah, I watched them with other people. So mm-hmm. it's like, well, how often do I go get a DVD? Yeah, and I was really, gonna say it, but I'm like, wait, no, that's the movie review. Really, what officially killed it was Netflix. Netflix and, all and these Redbox streaming services that start, but that, that that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about it. And the thing that I love doing my research after the movie, like I started watching interviews with Skarsgård, with um, directors, with Stephen King, and the thing that I loved most about this now after watching those interviews and learning more about what went on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I love the kind of work. Now I can appreciate the final product because of the work I knew going in. Like the first thing I'll start off with is like the child actors. Yeah. Usually it's like, okay, we're starting filming. Hey, this is so-and-so he's going to be playing so-and-so. 
They didn't introduce Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård, to any of the kids. Until the scene. They didn't, in, like, introduce any of the kids to Pennywise the Clown until it's like, okay, we're going to film your scene. And then he's, like, in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Bill Skarsgård is like, yeah, I'm, like, talking to this kid like, uh, oh, hey, Jake, I'm Bill. And he's like, I look like that. And he's he points to <laughs> Pennywise. He's like, yeah, I look like that. And to me... That is phenomenal because then yeah. you get like those emotions that we were seeing on screen, you knew were kind of a little raw because they've never seen the costume before. Until right then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that was great because, I mean, maybe the kids saw the original It before that. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But you don't see the It that you're going to be working with for yeah. one. Two, you don't know how he's, how scary he's mm-hmm. going to be. Well, and that's another thing I'm glad you brought up like, oh, they might have... Let's say they did watch the original it. They're yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to be an it. I want to know where it's coming from. Tim Curry's Pennywise. Way different. Completely different. Yeah. And the thing that, I mean, part of it's the kind of medium yeah. that they were on. Because the first one was a TV miniseries, yeah. you couldn't do necessarily the same things. As a rated R movie. That you could in the rated R. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm sorry I'm going to spoil this one part, but if you know what it is... <laughs> what it is. <laughs> You're going to know the, the Georgie scene. Yeah, I know, I know. And the, um, the thing, the big difference between them is in the TV miniseries, all you see is Georgie reach in and then Pennywise's teeth get those like demon teeth. Yeah. And that's all you see. And then cut off and Whereas go to the next scene. in the rated R movie, you see it and then chomp and then you see the arm Rips get ripped off. off. Yeah. I'm. I warned you. I'm sorry. I spoiled that little part for you, but I wanted to make the emphasis on exactly on how a little different. bit of a difference. Well, and I mean, they were able to do different things in this movie. Not just that. I mean, just the 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 acting alone, the type of mm-hmm. creepiness they both were were different types of creepy, and we'll get mm-hmm. into that in the spoiler mode. Yeah. But I just wanted to say that now the type of creepy mm-hmm. don't don't like if you saw the Tim Curry one, it's still a really good movie. Yeah. I'll just say that now. I won't give you my rating yet. But it's not the same creepy as the Tim Curry one. No, it's not. And I mean, the big the big thing, and this is without getting into spoilers, is Pennywise in this movie mm-hmm. is more of like, holy shit, that guy looks creepy. Like, oh, he that looks That kind creepy. of, the look and everything creeps you out. Whereas with um, Tim Curry's Pennywise, it was more like the Bozo the Clown Ronald it was McDonald. A gen- it was a generic clown look. Where it was like, holy shit, that is what a generic clown is, and just get me the fuck away from him. Whereas Pennywise in this one was more of his mannerisms and how he stood there and what he was doing and how he looked at you. Whereas um, Tim Curry's Pennywise did a little bit more, a little bit more talking. There was more talking, yeah. A little bit more gabbing from Tim Curry's Pennywise. Whereas this Pennywise just had to stand there, and he did his job. Yeah. And the another thing that I liked going into Pennywise, did not know this going in, but apparently, like when you see Pennywise move his eyes individually, I thought it was CGI. Apparently, it's not. Skarsgård can do that and can move his wow. eyeballs yeah, that's... individually. Also, I thought, oh, that was nice CGR. Um, with CGI. Some, uh, CGI when he was like contorted in some scenes. Nope, all Skarsgård. Can contort his body too. So I'm like, you know, like I'm sitting there going in the movie, I'm like, what the, like, that's great CGI. Now I'm sitting there going, holy shit. I can, like I said, I can appreciate it that more now more. that I know this. And I wish I knew that going in. Yeah. No, that would have been good, a good thing to have. But it's nice to have it now that you can see, like, oh, man, mm-hmm. I appreciate it more now. No. And then this is a movie, the last thing we'll kind of wind up before, because I kind of feel like, we're, we're kind of spo- going into spoiler and we yeah. want to get into it. This movie, like, if you're still sitting on the fence, you're like, do I see it? Do I not see it? I'd go ahead and go see, see it. it. Visually, it's amazing. Um, the story, although it's slow in the beginning, it picks up at the end. However, like Johnny said to me after the movie, it's a horror movie, so you can't kind of relate it on any of the other movies that we're usually reviewing here. Yeah. Um, on MVP. And the acting was great in it, especially oh, it fantastic. especially Richie, who um, is in Stranger Things as well. Yeah. Like, the character of Richie, out of the kid group, amazing actor. Any final thoughts for you before we 
creep over into spoiler mode. I think we should creep over into spoiler mode. Okay. Float and, on over into and, it. And here's what I'll do. A little uh, kind of PSA. If you haven't seen the movie, you want to, go ahead, hit pause. We will be here waiting for you in spoiler mode. If you're not, just stick right by. And we'll we be floating will, here. We'll be floating <laughs> right here uh, going into spoiler mode. But Johnny, now let's move on into spoiler mode. And Spoilers. To me, I'll ask you, where do you want to start in spoiler mode? Um... Let's start, let's not do the end until the end of this no, section. No, 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 we're not going to do the end. How yeah. about we do what you were talking about? Com- the difference C- between Pennywise and Pennywise. Skarsgård and Curry's Pennywise. Yeah, that's let's what, start with that. That's what kind of what we were ending with in non-spoiler mode. So I'll let you kick that off because you were the one that brought it up. Honestly, it's two very t- different types of creepy. For mm-hmm. one, you have all, uh, You were right. There is a lot more gabbing with Tim Curry's. With because w- afterwards I did some research. I mm-hmm. did some some checking up. I never. I haven't seen the original it, mm-hmm. but I checked up checked out a bunch of scenes. There is a lot more gabbing, but yeah. that's also probably to make up for the fact they de- don't have the special effects they can do they couldn't make them as creepy as you could make them exactly now. i mean they could have done maybe like the makeup work and stuff like mm-hmm. that which was kind of helped out with that with the red and then going up across yeah the, like near the eyes that helped out doing that um i just wanted to see it real quick again uh, whatever um <laughs> no but i mean just the, the his mannerisms mm-hmm. in this new pennywise scars guard way different just I mean, how he just he didn't just, have to say as much he could just stand there he could Especially when, like you said, he can move one eye separately, so mm-hmm. he's got one like looking way up here and one looking at you, mm-hmm. and then it, like slowly creeps back to both of them looking at you. Mm-hmm. That was creepy, in a really good way. No, and I mean the the best thing, even like when he would like creep behind like a wall yeah. and then fade away, you got scared, like yeah. just with his look and everything. Even like the scene that we see in. The trailer where it's the famous, you'll float too, you'll, you'll float, float too, too. You'll, you'll float and too. And he's just like, rah, 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 and he's coming at him. Oh, yeah, no. Even that is like, holy, I get I get. it's just a quick glimpse. Yeah. All you get is a quick glimpse because he's charging at him so fast. But I'm like, holy shit, he looks fucking scary. Yeah, no, because it's, uh, and we can spoil it now. Mm-hmm. What happens is he's uh, he's trying to scare, um, I think it was Bill, Bill yeah, Bill Denboro. Mm-hmm. Um, which was Georgie's brother. Yeah. As we all saw, Georgie died. Okay. Uh-huh. You all know that now. <laughs> Spoilers! Georgie, Pennywise, Pennywise, Pennywise Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> she know we're not strangers. Which I, I um, just want to say really quick. Yeah. Just, just a little aside. I don't know what it is with, like, that part. Yeah. Like, what kind of back-ass word logic is that? Where it's like, oh, <laughs> Pennywise, uh, Georgie, Pennywise, Pennywise, Georgie. We're not strangers. I get it's an eight-year-old, but even as like eight or nine, I'd be like, oh, I don't know if it works like that, buddy. Different type of eight-year-old, Ricky. Yeah, I don't know if it works like that, buddy. <laughs> horror movie eight-year-old, Ricky. Yeah, horror movie remember, eight-year-old. Remember, logic is out the window when it comes to yeah, horror movies. exactly. But go ahead. <laughs> Aside over. That's one of the thoughts I've had. Yeah, I've had. he's been thinking about it the whole time. Brought up. Actually, during the movie, did I? I you did. I waited till after. No, I think we, like it, you hinted at it oh, during, yeah. and then you actually brought it up. In yeah, I was just like, "What the fuck?" But oh, anyways, back to the yeah, no, his um, scars guard Pennywise. Mm-hmm. I'll say I'll just go on his, and then I'll go to Tim Curry's. Okay. Um, a his mannerisms are just way creepier because that's all he had to do. Like he mm-hmm. can do that thing with his eyes that brings it back, and he's like completely focused on you. Mm-hmm. That scene that you're talking about. Georgie, he like used Georgie as a freaking puppet. Yes, and says you'll float too. And then like Georgie starts trembling, saying mm-hmm. it faster and faster. His face starts deteriorating. You'll float too. And like yeah. the demonic voice starts coming out. And then Pennywise, you see him coming out from the bottom and basically slams the puppet down, charges at uh, mm-hmm. Bill, and that was creepy because just like going mm-hmm. through the wall. <sighs> and then he he eventually makes ran up it up the, the stairs, stairs and he, just slammed the door. That's the interesting thing in this one. Yeah. And the thing I liked is that they used the fear mm-hmm. of each child to kind of be like, hey, you know what? That's how Pennywise is going to get to him. Because, yeah. I mean, for Bill, it was losing. Like, Georgie, losing was a, Georgie was a connection that he could make to um, Bill. Yeah. And how he was able to do that for Bill. Ben, it was kind of the little in of after he learned that information about the yeah, Easter Ben's, scandal. Ben's was like little things here and there. But it probably traumatized him. Not traumatized. That's a huge word. But it's a it of, freaked him out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. It, it, looking at the Easter event, seeing that like head 
the headless boy. Well, oh, the, seeing the head in the, the head book. in the yeah, book. the head in the tree, which was like cool. I can get to him now. I found my in with Beverly. It was her father. Yeah. With um, you which had, we'll have to talk about that a little bit yeah, too. That with was... Mike, you had with his parents' death, with the fire, how yeah, like, he, all the hands were trying to get out of the door. Yeah, exactly. Um, he had the fire, and then uh, then you had um, I think it was Eddie. Eddie was sickness. Yeah, he was the one with the leper. The leper he was came able after to him. Get in that way, and then Stanley's was his father's painting, the painting of that creepy woman. Which that was the only one where we never saw him change back. Into Pennywise. Every other one, he changed back into Pennywise. Until the end. Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, originally. Like yeah, Like, in no. the first half. He never changed back after yeah, Stanley, the freaky flute lady. Stanley never turned, uh, his, never saw Pennywise until the end. Yeah, until the very end. And then you had Richie, who is, to me, the most unique. He and is. And the reason being is, first off, he's the comic relief. Yeah, he is. He's, he's also the one where... It's and this is something I heard while watching like other videos and getting um, other people's reactions to this, and it totally fits. Is when you want the best thing about these group of kids so Bill, Ben, Bev, Richie, Mike, Eddie, and Stanley the best thing watching them on film Mm -hmm. is how authentic it is. Yeah, to where you can either put yourself and say, like, like Richie, for example, you could look at him and go. I'd a, we'd a, we'd a guy in the group like that. Yeah, exactly. Or you're sitting there going, yeah, that was me. Yeah, I was that guy. <laughs> Ricky, were you that guy? No, I was Ben. <laughs> I'm joking. I was obviously Ben. Oh, okay. Obvi- obviously, obviously Ben. I was ben. <laughs> but no, I literally was looking and like, I could easily find some friends that would fit some. Oh of these, yeah, no, some definitely. of these roles. Like that was a that was a generic friend group. Mm-hmm. That was like that hit the spot on and generic even, friend and group. Even how they interacted with each yeah. other, like the scene, and I know it's in the trailers, but it it is just like when you see it in the movie, and after seeing them interact, mm-hmm. the way um it's I want to call him Jack because that's the actor's name, but Eddie and Richie yeah um go back and forth in that sewer scene where he's like, no, I'm not stepping in there. That's gray water. The fuck is gray water? It's basically poo and pee. So, so you're standing in poo and pee, and he goes, "Doesn't smell like caca to, to me, senor." That whole interaction that they had and throughout the entire movie is like, holy shit! Like, that is what kids would say to each exactly. other, and that's how they would react to each other. Like the jokes that Richie would throw out, where it's like, where he would just go to Eddie, <laughs> "Yeah, rather be there than in your mom." High five, guys! High five! High fives all around. <laughs> It was like that to me is something that I appreciated with the film. Yeah, exactly. I really appreciate. No, yeah, that. that was great chemistry between that whole friends group. Mm-hmm. Like they actually made it work. And like I said earlier, it made the generic friend group. Like mm-hmm. you can point out, like, oh, that's that type of friend. I've had that type of friend before. Yes. So I mean, that was I. I love the chemistry of that group of kids. Also, another thing, and this yeah. is you kind of hinted on it, but let's get into it a little bit. Okay. This movie, in two ways to me, really hit some, like, deep, dark, like, I don't want to say suggested themes, but it hit some themes that I didn't think. I think they were suggested themes. I didn't think it was going to hit those two themes. The first one is Bev and her dad. Oh, yeah, that was a messed up scenario. At first, when he's like, he, he, he touches her hair. And he goes, are you still daddy's little girl? And then she says, yeah. And then she just cuts off all her hair. At first, I'm just like, oh, it's just a fucked up dad. Maybe, like, they lost the mom and he's just really protective. And uh, he only touched the hair. That's what I was telling myself. Mm -hmm. But then the second time we see and um, where she has to kick him in the nads and then kick him in the face. Yeah. I'm sitting there like, holy shit. And here's the thing I want to bring up to you about that one. I brought it up to you after the movie. I'm going to bring it up to you so I can bring it up to everyone else. They never really said in the movie, that's her dad. Well, she called him daddy, though. She called him daddy. But we never had hardcore evidence that that is her dad. So was it a, my dad is abusing me? And she calls him daddy, or is it just some guy she lives with? Um, I'm assuming it's her dad, 
but that's the kind of thing I I feel like about you're reading a I'm little like, too hard into that because I think that is her dad. Okay. Because she even says to her friends, "Well, if my dad catches okay. you here, true, he'll kill you, like me, or he'll kill he'll kill us." Just a little thing I thought about. Yeah. I'm like that. No, is but that was interesting, and that I didn't expect that kind of a theme to be in this movie at all. No, but I mean, it kind of made it work for Beverly's fear mm-hmm. because I mean. He and you can, if you see the movie, you will get mm-hmm. at least I got it. And even that was even one of the first hair touching yeah. thing. Um, he is way more inappropriate than just abuse. Yeah, no, way more inappropriate. And that's why, to me, yeah, the blood that comes out of the yeah, no, faucet, it's very symbolic. Very symbolic to the fact of because the word around town or the word around school. Is that, that she sleeps around? Bev sleeps around, which isn't true. No, at all. I think that actually started by the character Henry Bowers, which is the second guy I yeah. want to get to. Yes, and the other deep. This is the other deep theme that it goes into. Is mm-hmm. they touch a little bit of race here? A yeah, bit they of do. Racism because yep. not only is Henry Henry was fucked up by the way. He was a huge, the biggest, very fucked, fucked up, kid. up character. And we'll two, get into that two, after this part on two fronts, but like. Obviously, him and it was Mike. Yeah. He just hated Get Mike. out of my town. But the thing I don't know that you were, that you caught on to, mm-hmm. where did he get that racism from? His dad. Yeah, probably. Because the thing is, his dad was the one that showed that towards Mike's parents before they died. Oh. Because they had that connection. They had that, they were that age before... Mike's parents died, and that kind of racism, at least I saw it, got passed down. And that's why he's that as would make fucked sense. up as he is. Yeah. Is because of his dad. Like, yeah, even well, the that's scene, how the way his dad treats him. Even the scene where it's like, let's be honest, he was going to shoot a cat. Yeah. Well, and his was going was to shoot it. his friend because, let's be honest, he probably would have missed. And his dad takes the gun and then just shoot, shoot, shoots at his feet. Exactly. And says, oh, I wish I remember the exact quote, but um, it's like something about a paper... Like, they'll crumble, or fear yeah, will make a man crumble. Fear will make a paper man crumble. Yeah, oh, it, I, he said that, and I'm like, and part of me, I smiled, and I liked it, because, fuck Henry. Yeah, oh my Excuse god. Excuse me for my language, but really couldn't stand him. No, I mean, this also, is how, this is also how that friend group, how does your friend go missing, and you go, nah. Because we lost well, cause, cause Henry's a fucked up person. Ugh. Well, let's put it this way. The first scene we really get with Henry mm-hmm. was picking on the new fat kid. Yeah. He's going to carve his name into his stomach. Well, that was later on. No, that was pretty no, early. No, the first scene we get with Henry is when he... Well, was, I said one of the first okay. scenes. Okay, yeah, the very first one is when he picks on Bill and... The cop walks towards him. At first, I'm like, oh, that's just a normal cop. But then at the end, I'm like, holy shit, that was his dad. Yeah, you didn't know that at first. You just saw it like, hey, a cop was there. He's not going to do with it. So he licks his hand and Mm. wipes Bill's face. But then the fat, like, Ben, I almost called him the fat kid, Ben, who. (laughs) I mean, Pennywise did. Where it was like, that, I didn't expect him to, like, I'm going to carve my name into this cottage cheese. He actually carved the cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna carve my name into this cottage cheese, is what he said. Yeah, exactly. That was, and then he like carves the. Even his friends were like, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing?" Exactly. That's how fucked up this mm-hmm. kid is. He carved the H, and then luckily Ben thought, "Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kick like, him, kick him, and flip over the edge mm-hmm. of the rail and just fall down this hill. It's better than being <laughs> almost, Which, you like, know, what, almost gutted." You know what else I love? Huh. He loses the knife and goes, oh, my God, my dad will kill me. Yeah, that's what he's going to worry about. Yeah, not, not the that, fact that you carved Not that this kid. kid is going to go home and tell his parents. Like, that's something I had to detach myself from Yeah, watching this movie. Like, this kid is obviously not going to go home and tell his parents that he got carved. Different but, time. But poor Ben gets carved with the knife. Then Pennywise with his fucking werewolf oh, yeah. paw just slashes his stomach. The part that you and I laughed about, though, with that <laughs> with, is that with Eddie's mom. Eddie's mom. Eddie broke his arm because mm-hmm. he fell through a ceiling. Okay, fine. Any mom would worry. Yeah. But, like, let's say nothing about the kid standing there with, like, three to four huge gashes across and his blood. stomach and bleeding. Uh-huh. No, no, but my baby's arm's broken. Yeah. I just. Like, I felt sorry for Ben. I'm going to snap it back into place. Oh, dude. That, <laughs> oh, God. Throughout, after that happened, oh. I was literally doing this. Oh. 
I was like itching my arms because um like I told the uh students I teach this weekend, I've never broken a bone. Yeah, no, if you have I am basically Marshall Marshall Erickson, knock on table. Yeah, you better knock on this particle board, which is <laughs> used to be wood, so I'll, yeah. I'll give it to you this time. Um, no, what I, that's the thing. When you broke a bone, mm-hmm. like I, I keep cringing every time I hear you've that. you've broken many. I've broken quite a few, just so you all know. I've broken quite a few. Um, you've, never, you've never broken any that you've needed pins, though. Right? Um, like I, literal, like, pins no, there's that no are pins still in, in my you? body. No, I had this one. It got pinned so it stayed still okay. because I ruptured the ligament in my thumb. But not, if you want more information, go on Twitter. But and not, I'll tell you. But not like my mom where she broke her ankle and now she's got a pin in No, her no, I don't have any permanent pins, luckily. Okay. Luckily. Luckily. But you've broken. <laughs> You've broken quite a few. Uh, I have. So, like, that sticks with you. And when, he, when we heard the sound popping into place, you've heard that. That sound. got me. I'm like, oh. Because I. You were I, trying not to throw up, you said. I felt like I was getting sick because I've felt that feeling, but I've actually, like, I've felt my bone snap. Mm-hmm. And not just that, though. I mean, the, hearing that sound just reminds me, and I kept hearing it over mm-hmm. and over in the car until you turned the radio on. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when I brought it up. Oh yeah, I brought it up at the end because obviously you're gonna have to. You're, we're we're gonna talk about we have the to movie, talk about it. <laughs> but anything Ooh. before we get to the end, anything that you think um, we hadn't hit that we need to. I should we talk like should we talk in depth about the ending? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Before we talk oh, in depth about, about, the, about ending? the ending, is there uh, anything let's else? See, we talked about the difference between the Pennywises. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about the kids' group. Yep. We talked. What else? Are we are we missing anything? We talked about the suggestive themes with uh, molestation and abuse with Bev, and then the um, racism and um, the aggression. Abu- well, I mean, the racism, abuse, and aggression of Henry Bowers. Look mm-hmm. how easily Pennywise just turned him on everyone. Dude, that was, he was like just. Kill him all. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, yeah. Kill your dad, and he just took the knife and up. Like, he didn't even wake up until the knife went in. You, Mm -hmm. like, you heard the knife go in, and the eye shot open. Mm -hmm. And, like, that didn't take a lot to do that. Mm -hmm. I was surprised, though, that, like, I I kind of assumed he wasn't going to kill off a kid, one of the kid groups, but part of me was like, uh, is he gonna get somebody? Is he gonna kill? That's one of what them? I thought. It's like, are they gonna have like have the guts to actually kill? Like, yeah. fight back like because, to that extreme. And we're gonna talk about the sequel um, after we talk about the ending. But, yeah, yeah. It's in the sequel. I'll say right now isn't necessarily a sequel. It's more of part, part two. two to this movie. But let's talk about the ending where okay. you get to. It all starts for me with Bev when. It takes Beth. Yeah. No, takes I would her say that's where it throat. starts. This right is... after the scene where she has to fight her dad off. Finally. Yes. And she kicks him. She hits him in the face with the with uh, the, the... the toilet lid. Yeah. Um, and. The tank lid, by the way. Yeah. The toilet. Yeah. <laughs> the actual lid to the toilet. She hits him. <laughs> I'm just saying, just to reiterate that it's the tank lid because, yeah, he, he got a nice hit to the head. And he was all bloody and dead when Bill found him. The little pool of blood. Yeah. That he had there next to his head. I'm not a doctor, but I'm assuming that means you're dead. It may be a horrible concussion. We'll I'm see assu- if he survived. I'm assuming with how long he was asleep that he was asleep for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Enough air quotes can't be used. For Whoa. our blog talk radio listeners, I am air quoting really hard. Anyway. He's sleeping, Johnny. <laughs> sleeping. You never know. But she gets to see the, she's the only one that sees it, the, where it isn't a clown. That is just the persona that it uses yeah. to get to the kids, where the three orbs, when it opens its mouth, yeah. very Beetlejuice style. Yeah, I know, actually, like, it peels open almost like And a... then she sees the three um, orange orbs yeah. at the um, throat. And then she just starts floating. Yep. Because we'll, we'll float, float too. Because you'll float too. We all float, float down float here. Too. But you know what killed? You know what I forgot to talk about huh. that this reminded me of, and this is I felt for Ben through the entire movie. Mm-hmm. I fucking I fucking hated how they tried to put like, oh, is she gonna be Bills or is she gonna be Ben? Da, 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 da. And the thing that pissed me off the most was I get it the first one where she says the poem to Bill, and he's like, oh no, I don't. I'm not a huge 
poem guy. Poem guy. And then Ben kisses her and she recites the poem and he ends the poem. And I was like, yes, Ben gets the girl just like he should. What did they do to me, Johnny? Bill what did the they girl. do to me? Bill got the girl. I don't know if he got the girl, but I am pissed, pissed that at the end, Bill gets like, oh, it's like, oh, you're going to be good in uh, Portland. And then he kisses her. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, you little sack of shit. Like, he, he's not even the one that, yeah, he liked you, but come on. The one that you were pining over with the poem mm-hmm. wasn't Bill. It was Ben. And yeah. We all know why you chose Bill, because he's not fat. There, I said it. <laughs> team fat over here. I'm with you, Ben. I am with you. <sighs> but you know what? Ricky's part of Team Ben. In part two, Ben will get him, because apparently in the original, mm-hmm. Ben slims down and becomes a playboy. Uh, there you go. So there, <laughs> there's that. So Ben's gonna Ben's gonna get the upside in this, but I'm still with Kid Ben, Team Fat over here. I know how you're feeling. But with this ending, what was going through your mind with everything going on? Where it was like their final battle with it. Just damn. I mean, even the emotional start, to, the emotional start to them fighting it. We're just gonna go into the mm-hmm. fight scene. He's approaching what the the manifestation of Georgie. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that had been emotionally brutal because like if you're the character, mm-hmm. because that's your little brother, your little brother's dead. And he, it's, it's even playing off the fact that, yeah, your his arm got torn off. Yeah. He's stuck trying to act like, oh, yeah, I've been stuck down here. Uh-huh. And I wish you could go home, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, yeah, but you're not Georgie. And you're shooting to the, in the head right here. Uh huh. And his friends, like the friend group, came right as he did that. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit. Like B- Bill just realized it's like, yeah, no, I know you're trying to play a trick on me, Pennywise. Yeah. Where originally he thought it was really like he was so wrapped around Billy finding Georgie, finding Georgie, yeah, and bringing Georgie back. Like there was the scene with his dad. Exactly. Where he's like, next time you take something from my office, ask. Yeah, exactly. Take this down before your mother sees it. Yeah, because he's trying to figure out, hey, well, this is where Georgie would have landed yeah. up. Okay. Uh, I mean, I get it. After, like, if you, if you feel responsible, mm-hmm. you're going to. It'll, it'll drive you crazy. It will. And he's going to. He's. Try- I mean, it's not even like a full year later. Uh huh. He's like, he's trying to figure out, well, what happened to my little brother? Well, and this happens over a summer because you think about um, October 88 is the Georgian scene. Yeah. We pick up in July. June. Well, June. Then it's June, July, August, and what we ended in September. September, yes. October. I think so. Because the um, Pennywise cycle is a, a year, year for every 27 years. Exactly. Sounds familiar. In case no one's ever seen... Uh... You know what I just thought of? Huh. This movie, you know it's the other two creepy coincidences with it around that number? What? Not only did it come out 27 years after the original, 1990 to 2017, yeah. 27 years, it was, it either filmed or came out one week after Skarsgård's 27th birthday. Interesting. So it was like really, I, I learned that from one of the YouTube uh, channels I was just looking up, like 10 things you might have missed Wow. from it. Yeah, like, that was, like, that got me, because I'm like, oh, that's fucking weird. That is weird. Because this movie, I guess, was in development, and they were supposed to come out with it sooner. But it had a director, director left, and a new one came in. Originally, the Stranger Things directors were supposed to direct it. But then they didn't get it because the um, studio thought they were too inexperienced, and they made Stranger Things. So it all worked out for them. There you go, yeah. But, yeah, that was just something that... Hit me in the head. But yeah, when he, the funny part to that though, the comic relief Mm -hmm. is after Pennywise turns back into Pennywise. Yeah. He goes to shoot him again and Mike goes, it's It's not not loaded. loaded. It's not, it's not loaded because he lost all the charges. Yeah. Defeating Henry. Exactly. I I was like, please don't, please don't waste one on Henry. Don't waste your last one on Henry. We need it for Pennywise. Right. And he had one shot and he just boom right through Georgie's head. But yeah. And I mean. That whole thing was just them coming together and finally overcoming their fears. Pennywise. Well, yeah, overcoming their fears. There's a lot of symbolism in this of because I even thought back to one of the fears I had when I was a child. Yeah. 
the dark. If it was a dark room, I was not going in there. Yeah. I couldn't sleep with the lights off. I needed either the hallway light on so light crept in. I never had an actual night light. My night light was the hall light. Where yeah. I'd keep the hall light. My mom no, would be yeah. like, you want me to keep the hall light on? Yes, please. Because I hated the dark. Or yeah, no, I, I would sleep same. with the TV on. I would do that or I would the same way. I was the same way. I could not. Like when I went up, there was two places I could not go when it was dark mm-hmm. in my house. It was upstairs mm-hmm. when I was younger. Because if it's pitch black up there, it creeped the hell out of me. Yeah. Or behind the garage. Mm-hmm. No, I, I... Those places, if there was no light, I couldn't get myself to go back there. If they, like, if it was pitch black, I was running in, running out. Yeah, exactly. Like, I... Mm-mm. Especially the basement. Because the basement was always pitch black at night, especially mm-hmm. with all the lights off. I'm like, fuck no, get me out of there. But, yeah, it was them overcoming their fears. And yeah. then Pennywise falls down the well. Because Pennywise has nothing... Like, they're like... You have nothing to feed on. We, we're not afraid uh-huh. of you. Because, yeah, I mean, as the the little fight scene was going on, he's trying every little fear he can in them to try and scare them. Mm-hmm. And instead, it all just kind of became rage out of it, most of them. And that was the unique line that Bill said. He goes, yeah, you took Bev because she wasn't afraid of you. Mm-hmm. That's why he took her and had her float first, because he could see out of the friend group, she was the one giving them the strength. Yeah. Giving them the strength to overcome their fear. Exactly. And he thought, hey, take her out of the equation. They're all weak. Yeah. And I mean, the other thing that's interesting and this, I guess this goes towards the book from what I've read. Okay. Is in the book, um, I think Bill has this line that he says, this like two sentence line Mm -hmm. that he uses to overcome his stutter. And in the movie, he says that whole rant. And Richie goes, wow, he didn't even stutter once. So, like, once he gets the courage, when courage comes over him, he loses his stutter. Yeah. And that's where he'll lose it. Otherwise, he'll have the stutter. Which I have to give him props. He did a very believable stutter. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel forced at all. Exactly. No, it felt like it was an actual stutter. Any? Do you think we need anything more on the end or anything that we did not touch? No, I think think we hit everything. But, Johnny, let's move on into the last part, how we end every single review. We will give our show Stealer Award, basically our MVP. And then this one, for it, we are giving it... Maybe five balloons, but we're going to see what rating we give it out of five, five. And this one being balloons. We pick something unique to the movie for each review. Yep. And Johnny, I don't remember who went first last time. I'm just going to let you go first. Who's your show stealer? You know what? I said it in the theaters too. And then with what you what we, uh-huh. what we found out about him just kind of amplified it mm-hmm. more. Being the fact that he can contort himself like that. Being the fact that he can make his eyes separate like that. Mm-hmm. Giving it to Bill Skarsgård for Pennywise. Mm -hmm. I was kind of close with Bill just because, like I said, the fact that you can stutter like that and make it seem real. And make it real believable. And and not that in like all the scenes, like the emotional, like the emotionality with Mm -hmm. Georgie, losing Georgie, um, kind of the psychosomatic stuff Uh of um, like him going like, well, this is where his body would go, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I can see believe that. That's why he was my second runner up, but no, it goes to Pennywise with Bill Scar Scarsguard. There we go. Yeah, I am going to second that. I am giving it to Scarsguard as well. I was originally going to give it to my honorable mention, who is um you're gonna help me on the last name. Finn Wolfgard? Wolfhard? Yeah, Wolfhard. Wolfhard, where Awesome fucking name. <laughs> from Stranger Things. Yeah, great last I John even said before we recorded this last part, he's like, I wish my name was Wolfhard. Johnny Wolfhard, <laughs> JW, big J Dub in the building. That's what Woo. I would call. That's what I would call you. J Dub, J Dub. Just like people used to call me R Dub in high school. Oh, okay. See, because my initials are R W. Well, see, seeing as I'm J K, I was just a joke up, all the time. What up, J K? What up, joke? You the jokester? But yeah, just kidding. No, Bill Skarsgård. I wasn't going to give it to Bill originally. I was going to give it to Finn because I loved what Finn brought in the character of Richie. Yeah, and like the. The quips and he made himself believable to where I'm like, I I know friends that are like that, that have been like that and made it very believable. But after learning the eyeball thing, the contortionist thing, gotta give it to Bill Scars no, like yeah. it's it's a no brainer that he gets the MVP for this for his performance as Pennywise, because if you don't have a believable Pennywise, you can't have it. Exactly. You can't have it. But I wanted to give the honorable mention to 
Phil, Finn, Wolfhard. I'll let you go first yet again. What are you rating it? Out of five balloons, give me your rating and tell me why. Well, since I can't do non and non sig balloons, uh, I'm going to give it five balloons. Uh, no, no you four balloons. You can't give it 99 red balloons. I'm going to give it four balloons okay. out of five. Really good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there's not a lot wrong with it, but it's not like I'm going to go back to it multiple times and watch it. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to even buy it, mm-hmm. but it was really good movie. I might go see it one more time if it's not like anyone else wanted to go mm-hmm. or if you wanted to go again. We, I'd go see it again. We've got other movies that we exactly. Gotta go we see. got other movies we gotta see. <laughs> the way I, I mapped it out for you, and basically from now until the week before Thor, we're doing movie reviews like yeah. American Made, American Assassin, Geo Storm, The Foreigner. Um, I'm missing one, Kingsman. Yeah, we've got movies all the way until the week before Thor. We get that week off exactly, and then we, we get to go we get see a refresher Thor. so we can give you a great review and on Thor, and then we get a great <laughs> review. For Thor, but no, I I originally said from earlier on the podcast where I said I wasn't going to give it away, I was originally leaning towards a three. Yeah. But then learning what I learned about the production and about coming into this, and after doing a little bit more research on the um, book and the miniseries, I'm upping it to a four. Only because I can, after looking at that, I wish I would have done that beforehand. I Mm -hmm. didn't know that I had to, but I should have... Because it makes you appreciate it just a little bit more Yeah, in my eyes to where, as a movie, everything's phenomenal. The acting's phenomenal. The um, the effects are amazing. The costumes get you. The makeup for Pennywise yeah. is phenomenal. The only thing that really got me was the story at the beginning because it seemed really fucking slow at the beginning. And then finally picked up pace. Ricky likes middle and through. quick pace. I do. That was the one complaint I had with um, Logan Lucky. Mm-hmm. That it was just paced so painstakingly slow at the beginning. And I kind of felt that with this one too. But I guess you did have to build the each individual okay. child. Yeah, no, you didn't And do. their fear to get them into it. But that was really my only complaint. But now knowing what I know like about Skarsgård's um coming into this about what they did with him and the children coming into this i appreciate a little bit more so Mm -hmm. i'm gonna bump that from a three to a four in this one and just give it that solid four out of five balloons i i may even see it a second time yeah just to not necessarily in theaters but maybe like when it comes out to see if i can catch things that you didn't see before because apparently one of the clowns in the room when Richie sees all the clowns, yeah. while Pennywise pops out, the one right over his um, right shoulder is Tim Curry's it. Oh, I did miss that. I did yeah. see them all like look at him as he walked mm-hmm. through the room. I don't know if you caught that. No, this one was... I didn't see the Tim Curry one. It's that's only, that's when, a nice it's only when Pennywise pops out. It's over his shoulder in the back. Huh. I'll, and it's got like the red hair. It's got the exact costume that um, oh, that'd Tim be, Curry's. That would have been nice to have seen. Which I only saw it because, like I said, I was watching different videos of like 10 things you missed, Easter eggs here. And I was like, holy shit, I wish I would have saw that at the time. It would have been really cool yeah. to notice that. But I was really focused in on the actual Richie movie. and Pennywise. But any final thoughts on it before we wrap this, wrap this one up with a nice uh, balloon on top of it? Um, no, I think we hit everything we need to. Well, and this is where you guys come in. If you have not already, let us know what you guys think of it down below in the comment section. Also, what do you think of anything that we talked about with the movie? Any other things that we might have said good or bad about the movie? Let us know down below in the comment section. Make sure to check out patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Another way for you guys to support the channel other more so than watching listening hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button for a dollar you get a free pay or for a dollar you get a patreon podcast each and every month audio for two you get the video and johnny ten dollars they could be a guest on one of either one of our movie reviews or they could be a guest on one of our podcasts that means they get to associate a movie with us any podcast that you want to be on for the month ten dollars on patreon you can make that happened for you. I want to thank you guys for spending time with us as we reviewed it. We will be back next week with a movie review. I think it's American Assassin. I think so. Is next week. Can't wait for that one. I love Woo. Michael Keaton. Cannot wait 
for that, I think it's going to be a great movie. I'm hoping it's going to be a great action thriller. So I want to thank you guys for watching our review. Make sure to check out our full podcast also this week. But as always, have a good day, everybody. 